Hello. Okay, okay. Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jorge. How is it going? I'm fine. You're fine. Excellent. And you? I'm pretty good, you know. I'm feeling better today. I have been okay. sick. You know, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I have been very sick because of my, my throat. Yeah. Yeah because of uh, fevers and cough and everything, you know. But I'm feeling like ready. Like you mm -hmm. more. Yeah, more right? More. <laughs> yeah, because I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better, definitely. Okay. So let's wait for your classmates. What did you do yesterday and on Saturday? Uh, what did you do? Uh, Saturday? Uh, traer, o sea, uh -huh. eh, fue traer a mi madre a la terminal. Oh, okay, that's nice. And we go uh, take a breakfast with my family and my mother. Really? Okay. Do yes. you remember how do we say terminal, the buses? How do we say that in English? Ba bus stop it's ba on the street right but the whole place the big place is bus station bus sta yeah <laughs> station station yes uh-huh so that's right for <laughs> mm -hmm. no but that's I nice forgot. that's nice no don't worry you know this is just practice the more we practice the vocabulary yeah it's not going to be easy to forget but don't worry and let me see i can see lorena's camera there but she's not there how about glenda is glenda already there so i can say hi lo que pasa es que tuvimos una pequeña reunión de una cooperativa entonces se retrasaron un poquito pero ya se van a incorporar okay don't worry don't worry but yes we are on time mm -hmm, digamos Una consulta. Uh -huh. Fíjese que iba a estar de vacaciones a partir del 14. Y en ese caso, ¿cómo haría con las clases? Porque no voy a estar en San Salvador y no me pega mucho la señal. Let me check el 14, pero... Ahí ya va a ser el otro curso. Tal vez no lo haya... Pero sí ya va a haber iniciado sí, más o menos. Sí, es el otro. Uh -huh. eh, no, ahí sería más que todo de justificar... Bueno, en mi caso yo ya voy a saber. Pero directamente con... Con la, de la con academia la... Uh -huh. o con quien está en cargo en la empresa suya con los de inglés corporativo porque ah, si sí es justificado y usted solo se compromete a a desarrollar las actividades de plataforma y creo que no hay ningún inconveniente ok, uh -huh. sí, voy a hablarlo con ellos entonces ok, y... excelente so, vaya, ya estoy lista I was looking for the presentation ahí sí ya creo que tengo todo listo in the previous class, section number four, we must solo habían dos temas, two topics. We were covering two topics. There was the present perfect and the simple past. Present perfect and simple past, right? But you know, I was asking you if you could review the verbs, but I cannot find that list. Encuentro esa lista. Let me see where can I have it. Uh, did I send you to WhatsApp? Did I send you a document to WhatsApp? I guess, right? Yeah. So let me go there and look for that list. Ahí estamos. Okay, porque si sí, mi laptop igual. Tuve que formatearla totalmente porque no quería ya. But it's, it's okay right now. Let me check on this.
Okay, here I have it. Class, did you practice the verbs? Did you or you didn't? What was my recommendation? So you can have the list and you can check that on your phone. You can print the list and you can paste it in front of your desk. So you can take a look at the list, the verbs and review the meaning, you know? This is what you need to do. Okay, let me ask quickly. I already have Jorge, I already have the Nilsson, Glenda, Gabby, Samuel, Gustavo, and I guess it's Lupita who is joining right now the class. So you were supposed to review the first 20 verbs. Remember the verb in the simple form or the base form, this verb in the simple past, and the verb in the participle form. So let me see. I am going to mention the verbs in the infinitive form and you're going to mention the simple past. These are irregular verbs. Remember, these are irregular verbs. Okay, quiero ver mi micrófono. Yeah, it's right there. Irregular verbs. So what is the simple past? Who can tell me? What is the simple past of bring? Bring. Simple past of bring. What is the meaning of bring? And what is the simple past of bring? Traer, ring. Brought. Okay, what is the past participle? Brought. Brought, there we go. Bring and brought. There we go. How about bird to be? Simple pass of bird to be. Was. Or. Where. Was or where. And what is the past participle? Being. Okay, being. There we go. Let me ask you for another one. Break. Break. This action. Break. What is this pass, the simple pass of break? Broke. Mm -hmm. Broke. And what is the past participle? Is it broke too or not? Broke. Break. Broke. Broken, broken, okay. broken, yes, broken. So break, broke, broken. I really need you to review those verbs in that way. So you can mention the infinitive form and after that you can mention the simple past and then the past participle, okay? This is what you need to do to memorize and to practice the meaning. For example, become, became, become, become, ben, bent, bent, bite, bit, bitten. In that way, please, you need to practice all of those verbs. For section number five, we are not going to continue talking about the past. And we are going to stop talking as well about the present perfect. But we are going to retake those two topics in the next module, okay? Bien en el próximo módulo. So please, next time that we talk about this topic, you need to remember the structure, you need to remember on how to make affirmative, negative, and interrogative statements, okay? So please, this is what I want you to do so do not forget what we have been covering. And section number five, we only have two topics. One of the topics we were covering in the previous course, pre-intermediate three. In el pre-intermediate tres, we have this topic, que era el future, future with be going to. ¿Se acuerdan del futuro? ¿Cómo expresar el futuro con be going to? What can you tell me about be going to? When are we going to use expressions with going to? 
when are we going to use the expressions or plans using the auxiliary will. This is what you need to discover today or at least to tell me at the end of the class, okay? Al finalizar de la clase tienen que saber eso, cuáles son las diferencias, para qué tipo de actividades voy a usar going to and will, porque lo vamos a estudiar así. Today, we are just going to cover, going to, tomorrow, we are going to cover the future with the auxiliary will. And class number three from this week, creo que va a ser el jueves, on Thursday, we are going to mix. Vamos a mezclar el be going to and will, para que ya no quede eh, duda sobre ese tema. This is a very easy topic. When it comes to verbs, cuando hablamos de verbos, es un, una estructura muy, muy fácil de usar. Why? Because I am going to have the verbs in the infinitive form. No cambia mucho. So let me present the topic for today. A very nice and easy topic. And this is going to be mostly speaking practice, okay? Section number five, going places. This is the title for section number five, going places. ¿Qué creen que significa going places? Going places. Está en infinitivo el verbo ahí. ¿Se fijan? No tiene un sujeto. Solo es un verbo, un complemento. Una expresión muy corta, ¿ok? So, going places. What comes to your mind whenever we say going places? Hi, teacher. Hello, welcome. Ah, sería como ir a algún lugar, por Ajá, ejemplo. That's ir right. a lugares. Y si está conjugado con ING, sería ir a lugares o cómo sería la estructura. Excelente. Miren. Going. ¿Qué creen? Yendo a diferentes yendo. lugares. Yendo, ajá. Yendo. Muy bien. That's it. Así que si se fijan, también se puede ocupar esta estructura. Esto sería como un sujeto. Y places, un complemento muy pequeño el statement. Una oración muy pequeñita, pero es válida. Es correctamente gramatical. ¿Ok? Going places. Ahí el verbo go plus ing está funcionando como un sujeto. Great job. Future. Ok. Si nos vamos a una línea del tiempo to a timeline, podemos empezar primero desde el past, el simple past, luego qué estructura le sigue, the present perfect, luego de present perfect continuaríamos con, ¿qué creen? Si nos vamos desde atrás para, desde el pasado hacia el futuro, empezamos con simple past, la estructura que le sigue es present perfect, y obviamente lleva los continuos. Sería present perfect continuous, que no le hemos visto todavía. Luego nos vamos al presente. Simple present tense. The present continuous le seguiría. Luego le seguiría del presente continuo. Podría ser este tema. Going to. Ya nos pasamos a futuro. Así que en presente tenemos estas estructuras. El simple present tense. And the present continues, ¿ok? Y para el futuro, we also have two structures. The future with going to and the future with will. Y ahí se acaban las estructuras del inglés, ¿ok? Tenemos pasado, presente, futuro. Now, we are going to talk about future, future plans that we have. And if I ask you, what are you going to do Tonight class. What are you going to do tonight? What can you tell me about tonight plans? What are you going to do tonight? I go to do the meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more time. Can you repeat that again, please? I'm going to do the meeting. 
Ah, ok. Ah, ok. I am going to to go. Ok. That's it. Glenda, what are you going to do tonight? I am going is um cook. <laughs> ok, you're going to cook. Excellent. Ellen Nielsen, in your case, what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to do exercise. Okay, there we go. In your case, Gabby, what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to to see a soccer soccer match. 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 Okay, you're going to yes. see. There we go. In your case, Ivania, what are you going to do tonight? Hi, Miss. Hi, I'm Ivania. going to do play with my daughter. Can you repeat that again? I am going to. I'm going to do play with my daughter. Okay, so interesting. You know, veo que, yes, de lo que les pregunté. La mitad maneja la estructura y hay otros que no. Veamos que nos está fallando. Don't worry. Hay algo que estamos haciendo de una manera diferente. Look, I have eight different questions. But first, whenever we are going to use the present, well, it's not the present continuous, the future we're going to, we are going to use this type of expressions. Look, tonight. Tomorrow. Pueden ayudarme a identificar the rest of the expressions para expresar futuro. After class. After class. After. What else? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. It's another one. In number On five. The weekend. On the weekend. How about in number six? Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. In number seven. Tomorrow. Tomorrow as well. How about the last one? This year. This year. So as you may see, tomorrow morning, tomorrow on the weekend, this year, and tonight, those are expressions in the future. But these are near future expressions. Well, let me pick another color because I don't like light blue. Near future, no olviden eso, please. Keep that on mind. Esto lo ocupamos en el módulo anterior para expresiones en el futuro cercano. Tonight, tomorrow, after class. I am not expressing plans or activities for next year, for two years in advance. No, I am using expressions to indicate that the probability it's going to be like a hundred percent probably plans si van a pasar hay mucha posibilidad at least por lo menos un 90 percent of probability that they are going to happen okay Para eso es el going to. And as you may see, I have some expressions right here. For example, what? That these are the WH words. And also, as you may see in number eight, I have this expression. The expression are. Well, this is an auxiliary, actually. And this is the verb to be, in which we are going to answer with a yes or with no. So we have to type of questions, okay? Using going to informative questions and yes, no questions. And we also have expressions, okay? So before we go to the structure, take a look at the structure that we have here. Miren acá, empezamos con una WH word y el verbo going to 
Y luego el verbo está en su forma base. No importa quién sea el sujeto. En este caso, como todas son personal questions, todas van a ir con you. ¿Por qué? Porque les las preguntan a ustedes. But what I want you to look is that the verb is going to be in the base form. Get up. Do. In number four, we have to do. In number five, to go. In number six, to spend. Look. In number seven, we have another verb, to talk. And in the last one, which is the verb that we have? To travel. ¿Ok? Por eso le digo, no importa el sujeto, el verbo siempre va en la forma base. What is she going to do after class? What are they going to do after class? What are you going to do after class? It doesn't matter if you're going to use any subject or any pronoun. The verb is going to stay the same, okay? Bien, vamos a completar esta. Number one, as you may see. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? No, dice, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? ¿Qué respondería en la uno? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? Look, subjects, verb to be, y luego le sigue, going to, el verbo for, for, eh, base, perdón, de base form, to go, y luego la información complementaria, I am going to go to bed at. In my case, around 11 and something. I am going to go to bed at 11 or 12 at midnight. There we go. What time are you going to get up tomorrow? I am going to get up at... What are you going to do after class? I am going to... And that's it. Okay. But first, let me show you this picture. This is going to be the last part. How do we make affirmative and how do we make negative statements? It's quite easy, as I was mentioning, because we are going to have any type of subject. And the structure is not going to change. Look, I can have any of the subjects in English. And after that, what is this? How do you call this class? This is? How do you call this in English? <laughs> yeah, just say it. Ese es el verb? Okay, so don't forget the subject and verb agreement. I am, um, you are, in the case of he, she, it, is going to be is. The expression going to, or in the case of negative, not, not going to, and after that, the verb in the base form, and that's it. There we have affirmative, negative statements with going to. Algo que quiero que vean, tenemos un verbo, en este caso, al inicio, going to, es otro verbo y al final tenemos otro verbo. Pero funciona así, I am, eso sería como el inicio, ¿ok? Yo estoy, yo soy, nos indica que es una acción que va a suceder o que es progresiva, ¿ok? Y el going to, como termina en una particle, like this one, partícula to, 
lo que le sigue inmediatamente es un verbo en la forma base, en infinitivo, ¿ok? I am going to traveling sería incorrecto. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos acá el to, el to. Ah, luego de eso tenemos un base form, ¿ok? Questions about affirmative and negative statements. Preguntas, affirmative and negative. Or is it clear the information? ¿Cómo está la información? Clear. Clear, ok. This is just a review. In the case of questions, interrogative statements, we have the same, as you may see, the same. We are just going to switch the verb to be at the beginning. And after that, we have subjects here. We are going to have going to the verb in the base form, and we just need to add the question mark. Acuérdense, siempre que inicia con el verbo to be, ¿con qué voy a responder? Con a yes or a no. Affirmative, negative. Here we go. Y en el caso de las negativas, como lo estuvimos viendo, eh, módulo anterior tenemos the complete form and also the short form en el caso de los negativos tenemos dos formas de hacerlo contractado look, in this case we have the verb to be plus not pero también pueden unir el sujeto más el verbo to be y decir I am not you're not He's not. O pueden decir, I am not. You're not o you aren't. He is not. He isn't. Or the short form, he's not. Y ahí se combina, ¿ok? Pero lo más común sería esto. Aren't and isn't. In the case of I, esta no cambia. No hay una forma de hacer más corto el verbo to be más el not. Lo único que podríamos hacer ahí es I am not. Pero no podemos decir uh, I am and not de forma corta. Ok, only the complete form. And that's it. In the case of interrogative information questions, those are going to be the questions that we are going to have with these expressions at the beginning. What, when, where, why, how, or we can also have the combination of who and with. Who are you going to travel? Con quién vas a viajar? Y al final le decimos with. Que son expresiones que no se pueden separar. Who and with. Okay, who and with. And that's it. Verb to be, subject, going to, in the base form. Okay. Questions about this. Así nos vamos a la práctica de una sola vez. Este es el repaso que hicimos ya. ¿Cuántos tipos de preguntas tenemos? ¿O cuántas formas de preguntas tenemos? Teacher, esa última parte podría repetirla, por favor. Lo de vale. who y with. Hay expresiones de WH que siempre van juntas. Por ejemplo, esta who va unida con with. Who, ¿qué significa? ¿Quién? Y aquí estaba el ejemplo. Who are you going to travel with? ¿Con quién vas a viajar? Who are you going to travel with? Y hay otra expresión en, en, de la WH que tampoco se separa. Sería what and like, and who, and with. Por ejemplo, cuando queremos preguntar cómo luce alguien, cómo es un lugar. What is El Salvador like? Son expresiones ya fijas del inglés. Okay? What is El Salvador like? Who are you going? 
¿Con quién vas? Who are you going with? Entonces siempre van unidas, ¿ok? What and like, who and with. Y con el resto, how, why, where, when and what, no hay como alguna regla específica, ¿ok? That's okay, it. thank you. Yes. Ok, so, ahí está la estructura. Let's go back to the first picture. Si se fijan, necesitamos poner sujeto, verbo to be, la expresión going to, el verbo en su forma infinitiva y un complemento. First question, ahora sí. How do we reply to this one? What are you going to do? La primera ya está. Bueno, repitamos la primera. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? Let me have the first one. Okay, Gustavo, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? I go... To be eleven um, p.m. Eleven p.m. Okay, eleven p.m. Okay. Let me see. Mi teclado está en inglés ahorita. At eleven p.m. ¿Qué piensan de esta estructura, clase? I go to be at eleven p.m. ¿Cómo respondemos? ¿Se acuerdan de la estructura que acabamos de ver? We must use going. Going. Sujeto más verbo to be. ¿Qué le sigue? La expresión going to. Y luego. Más el okay. verbo en su base forma. Y un complement. Revisemos si está correcta. Primero tengo un sujeto. That's all right. Eso está muy bien. Excellent. And after that, what do I have? Primera parte, perfecta. Sujeto. There we go. Luego me dice que necesito un verb. Pero en este caso... No es el verbo to be. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be entonces, Gustavo? ¿Qué nos hace falta? Acá hace falta. Muy bien. I am. Luego, ¿qué le sigue? Look. Going, going. to. And what do I have to? Go to. ¿Qué le hace falta acá? Going to. Ajá. So, I am going to. ¿Cuál es el verbo que me pide ocupar? Go I'm to bed. To... Uh -huh. Going to go. I am going to go to bed. Y le quitamos okay. esta expresión porque ya no me sirve. Luego de esto sigue mi complemento, mi información. I am going to go to bed at... 11 p.m. 11 p.m. That's all right. There we go. Carlos, what time are you going to get up tomorrow? What time are you going to get up tomorrow? I'm going around 5 a.m. Can you uh, repeat one more time? Can you repeat that, please? I'm going 5 a.m. I going 5 p.m. p.m. or a.m. p.m. a.m. Revisemos nuevamente la segunda clase. ¿Qué le hace falta? I am. Verbo to be. Verbo be. Muy bien. I am. Y si lo decimos en forma corta, asegurémonos que se escuche. I'm. La M. I'm. Si no, usemos la forma completa para que se entienda. I am going. Y luego de going to, me hace falta un verbo. Get up. Muy bien. Usemos el verbo. Aquí me lo indica la misma estructura. I am going to get up. 
Y para expresar tiempo en inglés, necesito una preposición. ¿Qué preposición voy a ocupar? At. At, muy bien. Una preposición de tiempo, at. Hago la número tres y ustedes se encargan del resto. What are you going to do? What are you going to do after class? What are you going to do after class? Lupita, what are you going to do after class? Is she still there or not? If not, let me ask Glenda, what are you going to do after class? I, I am, um, I am going. Mm -hmm. To, to work. Okay, that's it. I am going to work. Okay, I really like it. Muy buena estructura. What are you going to do? I am going to work. And that's it. Okay, but first, uh, no me siento segura todavía. No me convencen de esta estructura. Let me review again. Let me stop sharing right now. Necesitamos manejar la estructura afirmativo, negativo, interrogativo. Esto es lo que se les está olvidando. Miren otra vez. Take a look at the picture. I am going to. You are going to. He is going to. She is going to. It is going to. We are going to. Esto tiene que quedar fijo. Lo único que deberíamos de variar es el verbo. Ok, pero toda la expresión I am going to tiene que quedar junta en nuestra cabeza, así grabada totalmente. I am going to, you are going to. Y lo único que va a cambiar es el verbo. I am going to travel, I am going to drink, I am going to sleep, I am going to play video games, I am going to complete the exercises. Ok. And in the case of negative, are you going to have dinner outside tonight? I am not going to have dinner outside tonight. I am going to have dinner at home. Okay? So this is what you need to do. I am going to send you right now so you can have a conversation with your classmates asking this type of questions. This is a speaking time, but I need you to give your classmates complete sentences. Number one, okay, who wants to read the questions that we have here? Nine different questions. Let me ask Ellen Nielsen, can you read the nine questions that we have there? Lea las nueve preguntas que van a practicar. Go, please. Okay, sure. What are you going to do after class? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? What time are you going to get up to tomorrow morning? Yes. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? What are you going to do tomorrow night? night? What are you going to watch on TV tonight? Mm -hmm. How are you going to get, get home from school after class? What are you going to eat for dinner tonight? And there we go. Okay, five minutes to practice. Cuando volvamos, this is just going to be speaking. Speaking, speaking. Si se fijan, vamos a practicar solo affirmative, negative. ¿Por qué? Porque las interrogatives ya están dadas en la pregunta, okay? Affirmative and negative statements. Just five minutes and please, whenever we come back, I need you to give me complete sentences, okay? Five minutes, trabajemos en parejas. Here we go. Ya se las envió WhatsApp, go please.
Okay, I'm still missing Loreda. She's not there. Elenilson and Edenilson and Glenda. There we go. Teacher, ¿con quién va a mandar? Yes, right now. With Gustavo, go to room number six. And Gabby, let me send you with Jorge, okay? Hola. Ya lo envié a la número seis, Edenilson. No le aparece. O la cinco está por ahí. Okay, speaking practice, speaking, speaking, speaking. Solo vamos a mencionarlas o pregunta y respuesta. Okay, one of you is going to ask, and well, no, you're with Samuel, right? So you're going to ask, and Samuel is going to answer. Sí, vamos, una y una, una y una, vamos. Sami. Dígame, dígame. Empezamos. Eso tiene que ir pegadito. Yo, yo le digo y usted va a responder. Así. De ahí va el verbo. Una así y una. No, solo ah. las vamos a mencionar. Ah, va. En este caso, tú. ¿Cuándo vas a hacer el to do Austrian class? I'm going to do. What time are you going to. Entonces, to go. No, espérame. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? What time are you going to get up at tomorrow morning? You? At 10 p.m. For me? At night. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's y very, negativa sería... very early. <laughs> the, what time? Yeah. Six. Very... Six, Six a.m. Qué timo. English. Tomorrow, 5 a.m. for me, but I didn't to come to work. Ah. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. ¿Y cuando no? ¿Y cuando sí? When uh -huh. I normally date, I grab a uh, four. 28 and I'm going to Miss, how do you say que hueva? <laughs> que hueva. Uh, no, no hay algo literal. <laughs> What's egg? Uh, no. No. <laughs> ega, ega. egg? What an egg? This, no, no, no. No. <laughs> Pero algo let me look for the Teresa o algo no porque sí voy a buscar una expresión no pero no eso no existe verdad me digas bears okay Rita your turn okay and eh, ¿cuál es la next where are you going to do tomorrow morning I'm going to work <laughs> Um, in my case, I am going to visit it. I teacher, how do you say cementerio? <laughs> Enflorar, no sé. Enflorar, cementerio. Well, there, 
eh, podríamos decirlo de ambas formas, solo decir ir al cementerio, que es el lugar, Ajá. y también la acción, pero en sí en florar. Oh. Sí, to visit my grave, o sea, visitar la, la tumba de alguien, uh -huh. tal vez, to visit my parents' grave, or to go to the... ¿Algo así sería? Cemento. Uh -huh. It's like the place, right? My Whenever parents. you go to visit the graveyard. Uh, mm -hmm. have, can you spell that? The graveyard? Uh -huh. Grave. G-R-G-R-A-V-E-Y-A-R-D. Graveyard. Why? A-R-D. Graveyard. This is a cemetery. Graveyard. Uh -huh. uh, hey, um, grave. G R A V E. Uh, la E. La E. Graveyard. 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 It's more, more easy, teach. <laughs> but it's not the correct way. Spell. Ahí está. Graveyard. <laughs> One level, My one parents' graveyard. Mm. Ah, Ese es como el cementerio so, y también puede ser como la tumba. Entonces, ah, es, el lugar. es ambas okay, cosas. Okay, ah. so repeat. I yeah. am going to visit my parents. My parents' gra mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Graveyard. 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 Tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Is correct said addition uh, tomorrow? No. Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Uh, and what are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? You finish. I am ah. going to go. To pero ahí hace falta algo ahí I am going to go mm -hmm. Carlos going to go y luego qué falta to. Hotel Santa Elena dijo to to to, to hotel to hotel. come on guys I haven't read this the question <laughs> oh really who's going there <laughs> no había leído la pregunta sobre la estructura. Come on, guys. That's a lot of information, you know. <laughs> <laughs> vale, toca. What are you going to watch on TV tonight? Es sincero. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't I don't watch TV tonight. <laughs> I am do not I am not <laughs> Let me visit that other group, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> I don't watch him. Ah. Uh -huh. I am not going to watch him. Uh -huh. TV mm -hmm. tonight. Watch him. TV tonight. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Así, teacher. Uh -huh. Ah, pero el going to y luego le sigue el verbo en su forma base. Entonces sería watch. El uh -huh. going to. Ah, sin ajá, el going. Ajá, sin, sin el, el ajá. ing. Sin, sí, el, sin el ing, solo el watch. Ah, watch. Le uh -huh. falta la okay. C. W-H-T-C-H. Watch. Ah, okay. Watch. Ah, okay. Ahí está. Ajá. Acuérdense que después del going to, un verbo oh. en forma base. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay, Gustavo, how are you going to get home from school after class? Or it could be after work, después del trabajo. Yeah. Probably, right? I am going. To return. To home. I am going to return to home. I see. Oh, okay. 
Uh -huh. Pero ahí le está preguntando cómo se va a ir de regreso, creo. Exacto. Tendría que responder si va a ir en carro. Uh, to home. In my car, le pongo. In my car. Okay, time to come back. I'm waiting for you guys. Here we go, speaking practice. And I am going to. Okay, I'm going to ask for a single question. Solo una pregunta voy a hacer. Just a single question right now. I am going to. If she is want to work, not do work. If she is exercise, I'm going to do exercise. Pero como ya las tiene la otra, para regresar. Okay. Sí, ya. Dale, si no se conecta atrás. Ay, de Nilsson, ponga que practique. Hola. He wants to participate, the Nilsson, really. Nilsson. Okay. The single question, una sola pregunta para todos. What are you going to do after class? Aquí vamos. What are you going to do after class, Nilsson? I'm going to do exercise. One more time. I'm, I'm going to do, to do Exercise. I'm going to do exercise. Or I am going to exercise. Después del going to, ¿qué le sigue? Verbo. Do. Un verbo en forma base. Base, infinitivo. Ajá. Ah, bueno. I'm going to do exercise. Me gusta, aunque podemos usar exercise como verbo también. I'm going to ah, exercise. Okay. Are you going to the movies tonight, Eden Nilsson? Yes, I'm going to do, I'm going to watch movies. But you said that you are going to exercise tonight. After my exercise. Oh, Plus. after, so what are you going to do after exercising? I'm going to do watch a movie. You're going to do watch. One more time. Repeat the question. question. No está correcto. I am going to do to watch. Mm -mm. One more time. I'm going, I'm going to watch. To there watch we go. A movie. a movie. There we go. Muy bien. Excellent. Carlos, what are you going to do after class? I am going to... Santa Rosa de Lima. And after that? Tomorrow. Hmm? Ah, tomorrow. And after work, today. What are you going to do? Ah, today. Yes, today. Ah, I am going to my house and drink the beer. Okay. And watch TV. Después de going to, ¿qué le sigue clase? Okay. Un verbo. Un so, verbo. I am going to my house. Okay. ¿Qué le sigue? No, I am okay. going to go. Go to my house. Ahí es el verbo. Y luego un complemento. I am going to go to my house. ¿Se puede going to go? Claro que se puede, porque go es un verbo. Going to solo es la expresión que me indica que es futuro. Carlos, are you going to stay home tonight? Stay. Stay. Quedarse. Are you going to stay home tonight? No. No what? No. I'm going to stay. Oh, there we go. No, I am not. Or no, I am not going to stay. Excellent job. Uh, Gabby, what are you going to do after the class? I'm going to work. Okay. Are you going to a party tonight? No, I'm not going to 
Okay. Are you going to visit your grandma tomorrow morning? Uh, no, I'm not going to visit my grandma because I'm going to work. There we go. Excellent, Gabriela. Se defendió muy bien. Lorena. Hi, Lore. <laughs> yes, say yes. No, no. Hi. Mañana me pregunta el móvil. No, today. Why not? <laughs> what are you going to do after class? Uh, sería, I'm... Uh, what are your plans I'm going... for today in the afternoon? What are you going to do? Después de la clase. Yes, after class, yes. I'm going to work. You're going to work, okay. How about tonight? What are you going to do tonight? What are you going for la noche? Yes, tonight. Um, I'm going to watch on TV. You are going to watch what tv tv there we go very good job you see yes. it was easy rita what are you going to do after class i going to i going to work you're going to work and what are you going to eat for dinner tonight i'm going to uh, it's uh, dinner at about um, 8 p.m. Okay, but listen to my question. What are you going to eat for dinner tonight? What? What are you going to eat? Ah, I'm going to eat um, salad. Okay, that's very healthy. Es saludable. What, yes, right. What time are I you am... going to eat? What time are you going to eat dinner tonight? Is a salad? Or... Ah, okay. I'm going to complete the sentence. What I'm time? To... What time are you going to eat dinner tonight? I'm going to um, uh, eat uh, dinner at. Uh, 8 p.m. There we go. Excellent job. There we go. Gustavo, what are you going to do after class? Ah, Gustavo, where are you? You're not in the class. What are you going to do after class? Yes, after class. What are you going to do after class? Aha, I'm listening to you guys. <laughs> Sorry, teachers, que me vinieron a hablar. <laughs> ah, okay, don't worry. I'm here already. Okay, if not, let me go with Samuel. Samuel, what are you going to do after class? <laughs> Aha, guys, Gustavo is not in the class. Samuel, I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't know. I don't know. That's not give me a, a valid answer. Una respuesta valid. I don't know. Claro que sí sabemos que vamos a hacer. Teacher, the first yeah. Yes, the first one. Uh, what are you going to do after class? I am going to work. You're going to work. How about tonight? What are you going to do tonight? The first is, or? No, this is just a question. What are you going I'm to going do tomorrow, tonight? Tonight. Uh, okay. I'm going, I'm going to to go at 
house. I am going to go. Excellent. I am going to go. What is the compliment? I am going to go. Mm -hmm. um, to, to, to eat. Where? Tomorrow night. To the gym. No. Did you say gym? Es que la pregunta es qué ideas uh, hacer en la noche, ¿verdad? Yes. 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 I'm going to uh, dinner. To dinner. I'm going to. Y luego del to, ¿qué le sigue? Go, I am going go, to. Go. Le sigue un dinner. verbo. To go dinner. Ah, ok. To go, en ese to caso. Going to yes. Uh -huh. I'm going to dinner. También uh -huh. el dinner se puede ocupar como verbo también. No como solo nombre. There we go. Ivania, what mm -hmm. are you going to do tonight? I'm going to play with my daughter. There we go. You're going to play with your daughter. Uh, how about today after the class? I'm going to work. You're going to work? work? Okay. Yeah. Are you going to the movies tomorrow night? Mm. I am not going to go to the uh, uh, movies. Hmm? Okay, Movie there we go. There we go. And let me see, Alberto. What are you going to do after class? I am going to work in my case. <laughs> Really? Okay. No, in the, in the, todos somos I know you you all are going to be working. How about tonight? Do you have plans uh, for I tonight? I am going to return the work. <laughs> really? The work. Okay, okay. So that's it. Class. Necesitamos estar listos para las preguntas, okay? Tratar de analizar qué les están preguntando, si es la hora que les está preguntando o qué es lo que iban a cenar, qué es lo que van a hacer ahora o mañana en la noche. Tratemos de, eh, si no entendemos toda la pregunta, palabras claves, ¿ok? Keywords. Y tratar de usar la estructura completa, ¿ok? Tomorrow. Vamos a tener esta práctica otra vez. Y sí, vamos a hacerles todas las preguntas. Así que repasen ese cuadrito que les envié. Necesitamos estar listos con el going to. ¿Ok, class? Time to stop here. Don't forget to practice your English and be ready for tomorrow's class. ¿Ok? Have a great afternoon and a very productive day, okay? See you tomorrow, class. Have Bye a good teacher. one. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye.